Wow. So, you know, I've been waiting so long to make a video like this because I have tons of videos, I'm telling you. Uh, and now, you know, I'm starting to get into other type of videos, things that I really normally do. And that's straight, you know, motivation and, you know, try to keep people on the right track, you know, help them make certain type of decisions. So, you know, I have a book. You know, you guys know I have my list over there with uh, videos that I do want to uh, put on YouTube. But, you know, this one is pretty much about, you know, making a difference. You know, I get emails, you know, from people, you know, who want to take my class and from people who say, you know, they're too old, you know, all kinds of stuff. You have to have that motivation. I'm telling you, if you give up on what you want to do, it's just not going to happen. It's not. I mean, I've told myself that a hundred times, you know, I do things and, you know, I have all these dreams and trust me, those dreams that you're having, they are going to come true. They're going to come true. It might not be the bar, it might not be the next day, but when they come true, you're going to go, I saw that somewhere. Hmm, really? I'm telling you, you have to have faith um, in what you do and things, you know, things will happen. Things will happen. You know, like I told told uh, somebody the other day, you know, I don't just do, you know, the building the code. And, you know, the building of the code is just to help you get to one place to another place. You know, I want you to learn some type of a skill. And the skill that I know is revenue cycle management. You know, I, I, I heard somebody uh, the other day and they had like a, a thumbnail and it was, you know, I won't take federal over, you know, revenue cycle management. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, sugarcoat it. Yeah, I did. I just took a federal position. And, um... I chose to pull back from my uh, RCM director position because I wanted the federal position. Yeah, it's less pay, but it's longevity. It's longevity. I'm going to do a video on um, longevity versus higher pay uh, work at will. Uh, and you know, when I used to work at um, the hospital before, you know, some of my quarters, they always used to say, you know, longevity. Uh, and, you know, that's what they were, you know, looking for. And, you know, sometimes people have a choice between longevity, work at will, uh, you know, stability. And um, uh, that, was their, that was their famous uh, thing, stability, you know. And one time I did, I did have a toss-up over leaving uh, the hospital versus a physician's office. Higher pay, more money, uh, higher leadership. And uh, I took that choice. And uh, then I realized, you know... I, this company is not for me, you know, and I left. And uh, I wished I had stayed, you know, at Trinity, even though, you know, it was a lower position than director, but, you know, it was still, it was longevity. And, uh, you know, I still make those type of decisions. You know, when you get to that point, you make those decisions too. You know, I, I've always wanted to have a federal position and, um, you know, I still have, you know, CEPHI position coding, you know, on the back end. So, of course, you know, I took the federal position. Uh, one day I'll, 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 do a, uh, I'll do a video on that, you know. And that's why I told you guys I have time to do videos. That's why you guys see me shooting videos out and shooting videos out because I have the time to do it. And, uh, you know, it's not, it's not like I took a break, you know, from YouTube. You know, I, I had a passing of my mother King, which, you know, I, I keep her around me at, at all times. So, you know, trust me, she's here with me. But uh, you guys, you know, you have to have faith in what you do because... You know, being focused and keeping your dreams in your head will get you where you want to be. Some of you guys that are home, some of you that are, you know, still got that decision making going in. I don't know if I'm going left. I don't know if I'm going right. Everybody has had that. I've had that myself. You know, even though, you know, I'm still, you know, I'm taking the buprenorphine. That's for the weight loss, you know, but it still helps me, period. You know, it helps me through day to day to help me to get through things that I need to do. And, you know, that's the same for you. You know, I see people that uh, uh, are asking, you know, or talking about, uh, you made my day, you know, motivation. And, I mean, this is stuff I see from other people's channel. You know, my, my son, he always tells me, you know, look at other people's channel. I do. I look at, you know, other people's channels so I can see what's going on. But, you know, I want to put out stuff that I want to um, give back to other people. And I do. I do the search engine because... Um, I want to see what people are searching for, and I try to gear towards that, but I'm also going to still put my twist on it. You know, I, I've been doing the YouTube for three years, and, uh, you know, I love the YouTube. Even, you know, other people's stuff that I put on YouTube, and I like to support other people. So, you know, yeah, I will be subscribing to, you know, other people's channel, and hopefully they will subscribe to mine. And you guys, too. You guys subscribe to my channel. 
Um, but, you know, to me, you know, my focus is, you know, each one teach one. You know, if I can get through to one person and give them that motivation to get off the couch or to stop looking at those four walls, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, you know, and sometimes, you know, you can motivate people sometimes better than you can motivate yourself. You know, my, my lacking is getting my behind out there and doing some exercise and walking around the corner. Uh, I might walk in, in the shopping mall or walk. I might go down the hill and walk down and come back. But I wish that I was more consistent on that, of course. Um, but again, everybody has things that they want to be more consistent uh, on. And uh, those are one of my things, the exercising thing. I, and you guys know I have so much stuff around here. And, you know, again, you know, that's that motivation. I've got to get more focused on the end goal of me doing the exercise because you guys know you know even if you want a certain type of skill you have to practice you have to retain you have to read you have to want that end goal or you will not put 100 into what you're trying to learn i mean i see so many people uh in those youtube chats uh what do you call it when they make the notes and the comments and i mean I'm talking about thousands of people. I don't know how much stuff I read. You guys, you guys know I'm like a reading guru. I read everything. But they are looking for attention. These people are looking for help. And some people are just looking for friends. Some people are just looking for, you know, that nudge. You know, you can do it. You can do it. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. You couldn't tell me in a million years that they would create something like this. Uh, I, and this is beyond Facebook and, uh, you know, Twitter and Instagram. To me, you know, YouTube is like a big, giant family. It's like people go on YouTube, you know, when they're sad. People go on YouTube when they're happy. You know, uh, what people are thinking. What are people doing? I mean, what are they looking for? You know, and I see like the motivation uh, videos. I mean, I used to watch those all the time. I still do. I still watch those things. You know, I, I like Steve Harvey and Oprah. You know, I like Denzel. You know, I, you know, I always listen to Denzel. But sometimes you need that. And sometimes you need that. You need to look at those things. And I'm telling you, it's just like, it's just like when you're in church. You know, when you're in church and you're sitting there and the pastor start preaching and everybody look around. Is he talking about me? How, how do you know that? You sway talking about you because that's how Christ is. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, when I hear them speakers speak, I'd be like, they talking about me, I'm trying to tell you. I mean, everybody have their ups and downs, their bads and bads, but you got to just brush it off and keep on going. Uh, nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. Uh, you're not perfect. You know, we're going to go through things, but you got to just get up and keep it moving. And I don't care how long it takes, stay focused. Stay focused on that end goal. Write your book. Write your notepad. Write your agenda. You know, I mean, it's just like, you know, just going to college and staying focused. Just stay focused on what you want to do. Just like you guys who are, you know, doing the billing and the medical billing. You guys got to stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Don't drift off. Don't go start working at Coca-Cola uh, tea uh, shop and then you don't forgot about class. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do Coca-Cola tea shop for four hours and then go back and do your work for your career goal, if that's what you want to do. Now, if you want a career at Coca-Cola tea shop, that's fine. But you're still going to have that, you need that guidance and that motivation. Get that business down. Get that, get that information that you need down. You know, because uh, my goal is to try to make a difference in anybody's life, I'm telling you. Uh, if I can motivate anybody to do something more, that's what I do. When I'm out there recruiting for students for my program, uh, you should see them, man. They, they Looking at them and me telling them about my program and what we can see at the end goal, and they getting so excited, and uh, they see the end goal. I want to do something more. I don't want to stay at, you know, reception. I don't want to X, Y, Z. Not that nothing's wrong with that. Uh, but you, you see, you know, people, you know, they want to take that next level. They want to you know, go on. But sometimes they just need that nudge. They need that push. And, uh, you know, that's what it's about. You know, uh, even, you know, it, it, at my job, at work, at, you know, when I was at the school, whatever, you know, motivating people and getting them on the right track is what you want to do. I mean, I have stories, you know, look at my book on Amazon. You can see in there, I have, you know, uh, notes and things that people have written to me, how, you know, they're glad they met me and X, Y, Z, you know, those type of things, wow, I'm telling you, I'll be like, oh, my God. I mean, even people who are in my 
class or in my program, you know, they are like, they are so happy that they met me. And it's not even it has to do with the program. It has to do with me as a person, as an individual. So, you know, that's why, you know, even I'm doing the YouTube, it's more than just me doing the medical billing and coding. You know, I'm focused on the medical billing and the coding because that's revenue cycle. That's what I do. And uh, like I said, you, you give me an email. I'll send you, send you whatever you need. You guys know if he blesses me, I bless you. And even if, you know, he have days where I haven't been blessed, which every day this week I have been blessed. Oh, my God. And you guys know when I'm blessed, I give you back. Get into. I hope you guys are listening to this. Send me an email. I will send you uh, the program outline. I will send you the program outline. It's different than what these students who are paying have, but you still have the same thing. You have to have that mindset. If you do purchase all those courses, you see these courses behind me? That's every single course. That's 18 courses. People can get one. People can get a whole lot or whatever, whatever. Let me know. Let me know. I have days where I give away that course. You have to pay attention. I, I, today is one of those days. I'm telling you right now. Send me a message. Send me a message and I will give it to you. Whenever I am blessed, I bless other people. I'm telling you right now. Learning is the key to success. Learning is the key to success. Learn everything you can. What you see on YouTube, you write it down. What you think you're not sure of, write it down. Type it in, search it, and find out. Or email somebody and ask a question. Ask a question. That's the only way you're going to get an answer. Ask a question. If you have something on your mind that you're going, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do it. You guys know how I am. I'm a straight critical thinker. I'm going to find out. I'm always digging in something. You know, you, you, you just have to do it. You just have to do it. If you say you're going to open up this business or you're going to try to do this business, uh, do the business. Do the business. The billing and coding and revenue cycle, you guys know I have different type of trades. But to get you where you want to go, let's do it. We'll get it there. You know, I can, I had, oh my God, there's so many people on YouTube and I have met so many people and lovely ladies and even, you know, kids, I, I won't say kids, but 25, 30 years old, they're grown, but oh my God, these people are wonderful. And it's like the things they tell you and the things that they, they've been through in their life is like, really? You know, I'm not one of those that's gonna like, I, I can't put my whole personal skidoodle on YouTube. I mean, kudos to them. But I will give you the gist of that empowerment. Do it. Empowerment. Do it. What is, what is there to be, you know, afraid of? Put it out there. Do it. That's what YouTube is for. Uh, it was a pastor saying something one time. Uh, I can't think of his name, but he's a famous pastor. And he said, uh, if you're sitting at home not doing nothing and, and the women are lonely, and it, turn on social media. Turn on the YouTube. Turn on Twitter. And he was right. I mean, sometimes you go on there and you see things that just brighten up your day. Been, listen, when I go on Twitter at 5.30 in the morning or 6 o'clock, I'm telling you, I, I troll until I find something that, boom, just makes my day. Then I'm getting ready to go to work. You can see my Twitter, Lisa Lambert. You'll see on there where I say, okay, that's the tweet. Now I'm ready to start my day. Sometimes that's what I do, you know, to start your day. But um, again, you know, Everything we do is to make a difference in somebody's life. It is to make a difference in somebody's life. Just like the war that's going on now, you know. If you can make a difference in any one of those people's lives, do it. Do it. You know, and I know you guys don't want to see, you know, what's going on. But I'm telling you, it is so sad. It is ridiculous to think that's going on. I don't know what's going on with the world. We've got to get it right. And, you know, if I can give back something to help somebody else... To and, you know, if I can give back something to help somebody else, that's what we do. Um, it has to be done. It has to be done. We have to get together and help each other. And that's why a lot of times you guys hear me on my Instagram and my Twitter, and I say Team Us. Black Phoenix Team Us is everybody. Black Phoenix, uh, that's Black Phoenix. That's Black Phoenix. Look it up. If you guys look at any of my pages and you know what the Black Phoenix is, Look it up. That is what we are. We are team us. And that's how we have to keep it. That's everybody. It's not black, white, Latino, whatever. It's all of us. We are all team us. 
because we can't make it without each other. If everybody don't watch everybody's YouTube, they can't make it. If everybody don't buy your product, you can't make it. If we all don't incorporate what we are purchasing and what we are supporting, how are they going to make it? So that's what the team us is. That's what the team us is. That's why, you know, you guys see um, Prime. Um, I love Prime because he is such like a father figure to uh, those football players, the Buffs, Colorado. Yes. Uh, I, ne I never watched football at all. I just wasn't interested in it. It just, you know. But then when I see him with those kids and he motivates those kids and get those kids out there, boom, that's how I am. That's how I am with my students. I want them out there. I want you motivated. Let's just do it. Go go do that interview. Let me see what you got. Let me see what you got. Go over that resume 25 times. And don't forget, look out for that video. Yeah, I told you I got a thousand videos. I have a book full of videos. I bought a straight portfolio just for videos. This Look, that's just one page of videos that I'm getting ready to hit, hit YouTube up on. It's, it's what you want to do. Those of you who are especially, uh, especially, you know, just sitting home or some of you who just have something on your mind and you just want to get into it, just get into it. Just get into it. I'm telling you, I've seen thousands, I mean, of people even who are uh, wanting to learn medical billing, wanting to learn coding. They want to get that certification. They want to get 100 on that CPC. I mean, they are motivated. But you have to follow up with them. That's what, you know, that's what I was looking for to see. How in the world does the YouTubers follow up with these people who are making comments? How, how do they, how will they keep up with them? How do you respond to 10,000 people, uh, you know, personally? Like, you know, you want to do your, your YouTube and you want to try to address everything that people are asking you. But then you have those, you know, who are commenting on your page and sending you messages. And you want to, you want to, you want to have your personality directed to this person. You want to have your personal um, answer to this person, this person, this. How do you do it to 10,000 people? How do you do it to 1,500 people? That's what I want to figure out. That's the code that I want to break. How do you do that? Because then you figure out how am I making a difference in her life? How am I making a difference in his life? He sent me this message. I want to get back to this person. I heard, you know, the YouTube people, the YouTube world, they're saying, well, don't, don't answer, you know, the negative people. Don't answer you know, I want to answer, you know, the negative people. They, they, they tell me no. You know, I think that, you know, it's just like a challenge. Just like if you have a patient who's revenue cycle, you owe $1,000, and he's, he's saying no. And, you know, you have to get this person on the same page. Okay, so this is why you owe $1,000. This is what happened. And then it's not even us. It's your insurance company. I mean, if somebody sends you something negative on your YouTube and you say, you know, and you, and, and you don't answer them back, you know, I don't. I don't think that's right. I don't think it's right. I mean, you should answer them back. I mean, you don't want to keep going on and on and on, but you have some people that don't know your story. You know, but, you know, I don't know if you're supposed to tell your story. Uh, I have people who, you know, say to me, well, you know, you have, you know, you don't have to go back and forth with that story. Why should you have to tell this person your story? Because they have a negative heart. Uh to me, you know, somebody who has a negative heart, you know, I try to turn that heart around. Um, you know, I have, you know, seen people who are so negative, just monsters. And, you know, they can't turn themselves around. And uh, they say to me, you, you're you still trying to talk to me because uh, you're, because that's how you are. I'm still talking to you because I want you to turn around and go the right way. That's the way I want you to go. I don't want you to go the wrong way or continue the wrong way. Get yourself into a situation that you cannot get out of. I will not give up on you. You can give up if you want to, but I will not give up on you. I want you to keep moving. I want you to move forward. I want you to get out of that rut. I want you to keep going. Tell the devil, get behind you. You see? So, you know, again, you know, stay focused, you know, make a difference, make a difference. If you don't make a difference to anybody, uh, make a difference to yourself. Make a goal, make a list, what you want to do. I don't care how old you are. I'm 54. I have people, you know, oh my God, you're 54. Oh my God. Oh my God. Your daughter's 37. Oh my God. 
Yeah. You've just got to keep going. You know, I stay so busy. I don't know if it's the dove on my face or not. I don't know. I've been using dove since I was eight years old. So <laughs> that could be it. But uh, again, you know, just stay focused. I'm 20 minutes in. I only wanted just to be a few minutes. It's not going to be long. And like I said, I have videos to put out there for you guys. Uh, and you can see I'm ordering all these things. The light is better. I ordered the microphone. Um, I don't know if it's the right microphone, but I want to make sure that you guys can hear me clearly. Um, there's another microphone that's supposed to make your voice sound more condenser or something. We'll see. When Amazon brings it, we'll see. I want to see how it sounds because in some of my videos that I'm doing, uh, that I might do, like my teaching videos, uh, I, I can't stand, you know, I, I'm, I, I can't say I can't stand the HP, but I have to use the HP, but the, the audio in the video is disgusting. And I do have a separate camera for it, but it's still, I don't like the way it looks. Uh, so uh, we're going to try that again. Uh, but, you know, again, you know, I'm reaching out to, you know, TubeBuddy and all these other people to help me with the channel because um, I need to be able to catch these uh, little errors and all this other little stuff, you know, because I see spelling. I see all kinds of stuff. I'm just going fast and I'm not even checking it. But uh, I got the Canva, but uh, I got the Canva and I have got the... The cat cut is that what it is my son sent me the cat cut uh, i'm still learning the canva and i'm still learning the cat cut i have the free version but i'll probably go ahead and subscribe uh, uh to to both of them but um you know you'll see a lot more videos like this you know i'm not going to just do uh, the medical billing and coding i can't just focus on one thing because um there are a lot other things that i initiate and that is you know again you know hiring people getting people to work you know, that's what the course is for. You know, that's why I teach the medical billing and coding to get you working, to get you to that grade where you want to be, to move you up from reception, to get you to the next level. So uh, it all kind of intertwines together. So you will see my motivation videos. You will see get the job videos and you will see the teaching medical billing and coding videos. You know, I'm going to continue to do that. So again, you know, as I said, I did take the federal position. And I don't know if you guys want to see that. Let me know. I probably will put that on there. Uh, I'm going to a federal position longevity, and I'm going to retire from the federal position. But I'm going to continue doing the RCM, uh, and I'm going to continue to do the B2B and the B2C. So, uh, and, and continue to teach. So, uh, I still, you know, I'm still in that same, you know, revenue cycle management uh, operation CEO, you know. But I wanted the federal position. And, uh I had no idea it was going to call me. I just kind of said, you know, I, I'm almost 55. It's time for me to do that federal position because it was something I always said I was going to retire in. And uh, I got it. So, uh, yeah, I accepted it. And, uh, you know, that's what it's going to be about. And um, that's the same type of motivation and thrive that I want you to do. You, everybody's going to have a fallback. Everybody's going to fall. Even if when you're doing your business, sometimes you just have to take that break. And you might be broke for a year. I'm telling you, I think I took like a year off and I don't even know how, you know, I was able to stay above water. You know what I'm saying? Things just kept coming to me, you know, job, money, this, that, that I didn't have to go nine to five. Everybody can't do like, you know, how I did. I don't even know how I did it. You ask my sister, I don't even know. I mean, I literally just walked away and I said, you know what? I can do this without you. If I can grind for you, I can grind for myself. Right? So that's what happened. And boom, that's where I'm at right now. So, you know, the things that I tell you guys, make sure you take heed to them. If you're still in this video at the end, you know, look at the rest of my videos. A lot of them are, you know, motivational, you know, teaching and, you know, just to help you get to where you need to. You guys know I have a whole bunch of new gadgets. Uh, where's that other one I got to show you guys? You guys remember I said I was going to buy this thing because I'm always doing the reaching over there. It's supposed to stop the video. And, uh, you know, we're going to try it this time without me reaching over. Um, but again, you know, I'm 24, almost 25 minutes in, you know, we're going to try to use this thing to shut this thing off. But as we get weeks down the line, I've been saying this for three years. The videos are getting better. I'm telling you, look at my old videos. Oh my God, they're horrible. They're getting better. They're getting better. Next video is going to be better than this one. You watch. Okay, guys, leave me a message. Send me an email www.sapphirecoding.com that's the website you want to go on that take a look at that you know chit chat text me
whatever you want to do. Uh, my information is already in YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.